everybody, welcome back, Richard here. And today it's a video all about getting your photos from Lightroom Classic on the desktop. I'm pointing there because that's where my computer is. Um, straight to Instagram without exporting a file um, and also putting a nice sort of classy white border. I think it's classy, I like the look of it. White border around it. So really, really simple. We're gonna jump onto the screen now. Um, and I will show you exactly how to do it and how simple it is. So I've got these two photos here. Um, and the reason I've got two is because I'd like to show you something really quickly, all about a difference a lens can make. It's a little bit of bonus information. So this photo here was taken of um, the Moulton Barn in uh, Grand Teton National Park where we've been recently. Um, nice enough photo, I haven't spent a lot of time editing it. Um, because it's not one that I'm going to share. You can see the Tetons in the background of the barn here. This was taken at 24 mil, um, relatively close to the barn because I'm at 24 mil. Um, you can see the mountains in the background just going through the back of the barn here. However, take a step back, or several steps back, um, and shoot it at 70 and look at the difference in the mountains. Might have been slightly elevated on a mound that was a bit further back, but not a great deal to cause the mountains to do that. You can see that they are massive difference um, between, let me just go into here and here. Um, come on, there. So the barn's about the same size, but look at the difference in the mountains. Look at the compression that that lens has given. It's made such a big difference. And the one on the right is clearly the better photo and that is the one that we're gonna be looking at today. So let's come out of this. So we wanna get this onto Instagram without exporting it. Um, and also by putting a white board around it so it looks like um, what you've seen on the screen already and I'll, I'll show it again here now. You can see the white board around my recent posts. Uh, to do that, all you have to do is share it to Lightroom Mobile. Now I've got this folder here set up called USA24 that I was using when we was in America. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this photo, the one I want, into that USA24 folder. Okay, I'm going to drop it in there. And what that will do now is that should sync through to Lightroom Mobile and I should have that on my phone. So it may take a few seconds, obviously, but we're going to go into Lightroom Mobile and I'm hoping that any minute now, that one photo, let's force the sync, pause it, start it again. I'm hoping that that photo is gonna come through to the Lightroom Mobile any minute. There we go. Right, so this is the photo in Lightroom Mobile. Now, really, really, really straightforward. In fact, let me just make sure I'm in the right Instagram account before I do it, which I am. Okay, so we're gonna go into the photo. All the editing's been done already, I'm quite happy with that, and I'll show you something else how I try and get my feed to start looking a little bit consistent in a second. Um, we're gonna click on the share button at the top here. And we have a couple of options here. One is export as, and that's where you can save it to a file or to your photos or something like that. But for this instance, we are gonna do add border and share. And that is what it's going to look like. This is all set. You can change the color of your border. You can change the thickness and you can change whatever um, sort of ratio you want to give the photo compared to the border, if you like. I'm just going to go for the original. So it's just a simple border around it. Then we're going to hit the blue button in the top right hand corner. And I'm going to pick Instagram. I'm going to do it as a post. And I am just going to go in real quick. I may edit this clip a bit later, but I just want to. We're going to do a couple of hashtags like road trip USA and Teton National Park. That will do for now. Awesome trip to see the Molten Barn in Grand Teton National Park and we're gonna say share. Oh, 
why do things always take so long when you're waiting for them? There we go. So that should be posted now. And to prove that, we're going to whiz into Instagram. And there it is. It's come up now. So all we then have to do is go back to Lightroom, go back to the folder that you're in, select that one photo. We want to delete it altogether because I don't want it in my cloud anymore. Put it on my hard drive on the PC. So we are just going to delete that. Totally one photo deleted. That will also come out of my folder on the computer. Um, as we can see in a minute, hopefully it will sync up. Let's force the sync again, which it's done on there. Let's force the sync up here. That will remove it from that folder in a minute. There we go, it's gone. But if we come back to our original photos on the hard drive, we can see it's still there. Now, here it is. Um, let's just refresh this screen. Here it is my Instagram account on, um, on the computer, we can see it's here. One thing that I do, um, just to see if everything looks good before I post it, I wanna make sure I've got the colors right and things like that. They're normally pretty close, but sometimes they're not, is I take a screenshot. So in here, I just do uh, Shift Command and F4, and that will take a screenshot and save it onto my desktop. I can then open it on the desktop, open my Instagram account on the desktop, and you can sort of move this around. You can make this as small as, as small as you want if you wanted to make it a similar size. You can then kind of just move this around and make sure that it's gonna fit in with the rest of your Instagram feed. Um, that's just a quick way that I've started to do just to make sure that I keep that consistent look, which is what I'm trying to achieve now. So that was it. Let's stop this recording. Stop the screen recording because I've just recorded it so I can show you on here. Um, that's it, really simple. It's just how to get your, your um, photos from Lightroom Classic on the desktop into Instagram without having to export it, adding a border in the print module, which I think you can do, but I don't know how. I, this is so much easier. Um, and getting it into Instagram without generating copies on your hard drive or adding it to your photos on your, on your phone if you want to. You just sync it up, share it from Lightroom direct to Instagram, delete the image that you've shared to your cloud, You've still got it on your hard drive, simple, seamless process that keeps your laptop or desktop clean and you haven't got all your images duplicating as you're exporting them. I see some people airdrop it, export it, then airdrop it to your phone and then share it, which is fine, you know, but this is, I find this easier because I don't want all those images on my desktop, I don't want images in my photos, taking up my iCloud space. All I want to do is just get it into Instagram with the white border um, which I find it easier to do by my phone. That's it. Um, I hope you found that a little bit useful. If you did, stay tuned because I've got lots of videos coming up all about Lightroom. I've got in the field videos where I'm going out shooting. I think the next one is going to be um, coming up in about a week or so. So please stay tuned for that. The best thing you can do for me though, if you like to, is hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up because it really helps the channel out. Uh, and I think that's all I'm going to say for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.